I've worked out where the uh, it's the square, uh, where the negotiations are between the Lib Dems and the Tories. Yeah, down the Smith Square, which is uh, it's only about it's only about half a mile from this. So I'm going to walk down there and let them know how I feel. Right down Absolutely wonderful, and I want to thank. You. I'm not going to talk to you about the discussions which are going on at the moment. We'll be making a statement a little later about that. But I want to tell you. Just, I've been listening carefully to you, just hang on a second. But take it from me, reforming politics is one of the reasons I went into politics. I campaigned for a better, more open, more transparent, new politics every single day of this general election campaign. I genuinely believe, I genuinely believe it is in the national interest, it is in the interest of everybody in Great Britain for us to use this opportunity to usher in a new politics after the discredited politics. So I take, I take your, I take your petition, I take your petition in the spirit in which I'm sure you meant to deliver it for me, in the spirit of change, of real change in the politics of this country. And in return, in return, I would ask you to do what you're doing so well here today in Smith Square, in every single street, in every single community of our country, to continue your campaign, your campaign for a different, better, new politics. Thank you very much. Thank you. This demo was uh, planned last week by a group uh, of uh, constitutional reform organisations led by Power 2010, uh, Unlock Democracy, Electoral for Reform Society, 38 Degrees, who on the back of uh, the, the suspicion of a, a hung parliament 
were wondering that perhaps there might be just exactly this, negotiations going on this weekend. What could we do to uh, bring pressure on it? So we decided to call a demonstration for 2 p.m. in Trafalgar Square on Saturday afternoon, and that's how it started. And we decided at that demo to take a stroll down Whitehall to Smith Square to put a bit of pressure on Nick Clegg. The British people voted in a way um, on Thursday night that's much too sophisticated for our Creek and our electoral first-past-the-post system to deal with. If people don't get what they want when they vote, they tend to either be uh, put off of voting or feel disenfranchised and angry. Particularly now when we have a very difficult economic situation to face. What we need is some form of consensus to deal with this problem so that we make sure that we deal with it together. And you can only really get that uh, under a PR system. You can't really get that under first-past-the-post. So we're here to demonstrate today to show that there are a lot of people who, who don't want the Lib Dems to give in to pressure from the Tory media for some sort of one-party uh, government, instead uh, to form a progressive coalition with those forces that have always wanted PR, have always wanted electoral reform, and represent the majority of voters in this country, the, the grand progressive coalition that's always voted against the Conservatives. I don't think you said nothing. <laughs> I agree with you, know, you in principle. Yes, lovely. <laughs> Thanks for coming down. Really like you. This is great, isn't it? I wonder how long it's going to last. You know, politicians, politicians, politicians. What the British people want from their politicians is accountability. You know, that's going to be the sexy political word in the 21st century. How do we hold the politicians and the corporations and the bankers and each other to account for what we do?